Well, hanging him up is what Alexander Gustafson did. He has retired. He took his gloves off in the cage after Anthony Smith tapped him out. Gustafson retires after losing three UFC title fights. And the story of this wasn't necessarily Gustafson because he's not been out that, that Alexander Gustafson. He's just not been. He's not won since early 2017. He couldn't ever stay in the cage. The last time the man ever won two fights in a calendar year was 2012. He's won three fights since 2013 started. I wasn't buying him at the top levels anymore. Did I think it was impressive that he beat Teixeira and that he beat Blahovic? Teixeira a lot more than Blahovic. I thought that he had the, I mean, Manawa, that was a nice one, but I don't think he's truly been the same after John Jones, the John Jones fight. And hey, we saw that with J Johnny Hendricks too. Met some success after the GSP fight, was never quite the same guy. Anthony Smith, however, boy, this is a story. I like to imagine Anthony Smith as the guy. Like, have you all ever seen SNL with the the character who plays the the girlfriend of the boxer? A Anthony Smith's career trajectory is that of every boxing movie, where it looks like they're done. Man, he's five and six. He is an absolute scrub. He's in Strike Force. He loses his way out of the company. He loses his way out of the UFC. He even loses his way out of Victory FC. And then something happens. And Anthony Smith goes on this unbelievable five-year run where he beats Rashad Evans, Shogun Hua, Hector Lombard, Volkan Ozdemir, and Alexander Gustafsson. Wow. Anthony Smith belongs here. Anthony Smith belongs at the top levels of the UFC light heavyweight, and it is amazing what he has achieved. You cannot discount what Anthony Smith has done, and it is goddamn special. He switched his hips, forced Gustafson down. Uh, I love that he cut off Gustafson, who would turn and run. Like At some point in your career, some people figure that out, and it just took a while for people to figure out, hey, maybe don't let Gustafson get his rhythm. Uh, Anthony Smith just, just, I think the world of that guy after this. Think the world of him. What a performance. What a year he's had. Keep in mind. One year ago, he had not debuted as a UFC light heavyweight. And in a year, he has defeated four men that have been UFC champions or competed for UFC titles. The only person to beat him is arguably the greatest fighter of all time. My God. Uh, I love what Anthony Smith has done. He is making a real case for the weight cutting, kind of stepping out, stepping away. Good for him. An amazing performance. And you got to look at who do you put him up against now? Well, you can't put him up against Jones. Jones just smoked him. Maybe Tiago Santos in a rematch if Santos loses. But maybe Dom Reyes. That one makes a whole lot of sense to me.